Do you want to walk through walls and doors and windows in Dual Universe as if they weren't there? Are you looking for game exploits, cheats, and hacks for Dual Universe? Well, then you've come to the right place. I've got another one for you. Okay, here's how it works. I'm not trying to tell you this is an exploit or not. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, maybe it's a hack. This is just the way the game works. And Dual Universe is pretty buggy. So if you want to walk through a door or a window or a voxel wall as if it's not there, well, you have to do it when it's not there. Now, Dual Universe is an online game. And when you load in, to someone's, uh, someone's base, someone's construct, someone's static uh, core, where they built something. When you load in, the game has to fetch whatever it is that's supposed to be standing there from the server. So if you're on a really fast internet, or if you've been there before, it may load it faster. So how can you be sure that some elements won't be loaded yet when you log in. Well, this is a age old trick. You can slow down your internet connection. There are a lot of ways to do that and you can slow it down. And when it's suitably slow, then your character will load in right away and everything else will take time to load in. Now I've got a clip that'll show that happening. So that's the wall hack if you want to if you want to move through things just make sure that you've either never been there before or load somewhere else and then load into the place where you want to walk through a wall and make sure your internet is running slower and you'll be able to walk right through a wall a door a window or a voxel wall Let's take a look at the clip. The following clip shows me walking straight through a window that has not loaded in yet. I got to this point because my character died. But the same thing happens if you use VR. Spend some time in a VR session and then return. You might notice some elements haven't loaded in yet. And at that point, you'd be able to walk through a wall or a window or a door that isn't there yet. Let's take a look at the clip. And I'm on board one of my ships after I load in. Um, can I can I leave? Oh, you can just walk straight through. <laughs> oh, the glass wasn't even loaded in yet. I just walked straight through what would have been glass. So now let's break down the science of why this happens, why there's a phenomenon of certain elements not being loaded right away. Now, if you've been playing Dual Universe for a while, you've probably been a good little girl, a good little boy, you've just been waiting for things to load in. And that's probably the way you've been dealing with it. Now, if you're like me and you wonder why these things happen, well, let me tell you why. So your game client it represents your player. And the game client knows where you are. Now, it knows what the terrain is. It has to load the terrain first from the server. And that loads in pretty fast. And then it starts fetching whatever constructs might be in the vicinity of your player. Now, one day when I happened to fly back to my home base, I noticed that my base wasn't there. I mean, the land was there, the tile was there, the ground was there, but the constructs that I had built for my base were missing. And they were missing because at that particular point in time, something on the back end kept my base constructs from being loaded. And the same thing happens when you load in. The game client that you use to play the game that runs in your PC has to make a request of the back end server to start loading whatever constructs or whatever players happen to be in the vicinity. 
and that can take time. And once again, if you have a slow internet, it's going to take longer. Meanwhile, your player is able to move around because the, your player is running on your local PC. You're looking at what your player is able to see on your local PC. And if a element isn't there, like a window or a door or a wall, if it doesn't appear to be there, then you can just walk right on through it because your game client doesn't know that there's supposed to be something there until it gets fetched from the backend server. And this is part of the problem with having purely online games. If the game isn't fast enough or doesn't be smart enough about how it is giving you elements from the backend server, then this sort of thing can happen. I mean, it's a real problem. And I'm on board one of my ships after I load in. Um, can I can I leave? Oh, you can just walk straight through. <laughs> oh, the glass wasn't even loaded in yet. I just walked straight through what would have been glass. Now, just to recap what you saw in the clip that you just watched. You saw my character walk through a window, and when my character hit the ground and looked back, there was a window. And my character walked right through it because the window wasn't there when my character walked through it. So now, just to recap what you can do with this information, if you wanted to, you could have all kinds of fun and shenanigans, getting access to areas of the game where people have put up doors and they don't walk, want you walking through them if you can slow down your internet and then log in, you might be able to get through one of those doors. So, have fun out there. If you like the content you've been seeing here, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to click this button right now. And I think you should too. And thank you very much for taking the time to hit that bell icon. You subscribe.